What's going on YouTube? Nathan back with, an, with another video presentation. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everyone's off to a good week. Before we get into the video, there's a few things I need to say up front. You know, I'm all about change. Change in a good way for everybody. You know, I, when I'm asked, well, what, rec what recommendations would you make to this, to that? I would make sure that everything that I've written down or everything that I have said verbally is heard and understood. As you have seen the title of the video, the point I'm trying to make is, is this. You know, we all have to really see how things work. You know, we have to give things like this, as you see the title of the video, as I already stated. You know, what this could do for the NFL going forward. John Harbaugh, yesterday with the Baltimore Ravens offseason plans, talked about a, prop um, a proposal that has been submitted to the NFL that should be either voting on the 30th or 31st about creating new, uh, a, basically a new overtime proposal. And I sat there and I said, damn, you know, that's not, that's not a bad idea. However, when I looked more into his proposal, I had a couple of questions and we all know we still got to hand, you know, that's, that'll get hammered out. But the one, there's a couple of things that he left out in his proposal that I'm going to read to you. So basically, quote, one team picks the spot of the ball to start overtime and the other team chooses whether to play offense or defense. If the one team picks, for example, the offense's own 20 yard line, the opponent would have to choose whether to play offense or from their 20, from their own 20 or to play defense. With the other team having the ball on its own 20, this would minimize the great, this would minimize greatly the impact of the coin toss. Under this proposal, the coin toss would be only would be used only to give the team that wins the toss the right to pick the spot of the ball along with the end zone to be defended and or to choose the offense or defense. Under one of the two proposals to be made by the Ravens, overtime would proceed in a sudden death fashion with the first score by either team ending the game and up 10 minutes of extra time. If the game remains tied at that point, the game's outcome would be a tie. Under the proposal, the game would be continued for another seven minutes and 30 seconds without a sudden death component. Whoever leads after the extra time has ended would be the winner. Again, if the game remains tied after the extra session, the game would be a tie. Now, I have a couple of questions. So, is... Okay, if I'm the Ravens, right, and we're playing Pittsburgh, the score, so let's say Pittsburgh wins the coin toss. Is the 20-yard line where they start automatically, or can they start saying, well, we want them to play at the one? Baltimore, do you choose to play defense or play offense? That, that needs to be cleaned up a little bit because a team starting at its own 20, okay, offensively, they got to go 80 yards. Fine. But if Pittsburgh says no, we want them to start at the one. Are you starting, is, is it automatically, it has to be the 20. It can't be the one, it can't be the 10, it can't be the five. Is it that's where you're going to start. I need to know that. Is it just going to be at the 20 
for sure. That's my first question. My second question is instant replay. We all know, I, I cannot stress enough how instant replay makes a difference. And these referees, these referees, they're human and they miss calls, but there needs to be a way to clean up instant replay, especially in an overtime game, because every play, every throw, every snap, no matter what, every play is a crucial, it's a crucial, crucial moment for each team. If Lamar Jackson throws it to Mark Andrews and Mark Andrews tiptoes sideline, he has he has one toe like his one toe out on the white line. He's kind of in bounds, and the referee goes, "He caught it." But I want to challenge that. How are, is it? Can the coaches challenge, or is it just strictly booth review? And Baltimore's also talked about wanting a sky judge. Again, these are questions that need to be that need to be asked to understand how this proposal is going to work. Now, this was developed by Matt Weiss, former coach for the Ravens and now head coach at Michigan. Congratulations. And I think it's a great idea. One thing this does, it creates more excitement, it creates more strategy, and it pretty much, it does away with the coin toss. The coin toss is eh. But as far as a more strategy, you're relying on your offensive coordinator, on the offense, defensive coordinator, defense. You're relying on them to, hey, listen, we're under immense pressure. There's no way we can mess this up. It's 20 yards. Guys are going to be really holding each other accountable. Now, even though I'm not a fan of the fact that it's 10 minutes, and then if no one has scored after those first 10 minutes, you get an extra 7 minutes and 30 seconds. You're practically playing for almost an extra 20 minutes. I think that's a bit, that's a bit much. If you can't score after the first 10 minutes, the game should be over, in my opinion. Because again, these guys are already playing for 60 minutes. And that's a lot of, particularly on the defensive lineman and on the defensive lineman, office lineman. I'm not making excuses, but football, it's, it's, a, it's a physical toll. Particularly with, 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 with the longer the game goes. And you look at it, those are my, and that's something that has to be more addressed in this proposal. Now, Bill Belichick seems to be in favor of this. And I believe the statistic, I read, I saw this on Twitter, 58% of those that win the coin toss win in overtime. I think it's great. Again, my only, those are my, my only two questions is instant replay and then where do you start? He said, they said the 20, but can they go, we want them to start. We want to start at the one. That's too easy. Oh, let me take that back. That's too easy. I wouldn't say the 20. I would say start at midfield. Midfield's easy. You got 50 yards to score. You got 50 yards to play defense. The 20, eh, that's too easy. I would suggest start at midfield. If they can't score in the 10 minutes, this is just me. This is just be my suggestion. This may sound corny, but I would trust the special teams. So let's say after the 10 minutes, the Packers, Packers versus Ravens, random example. Neither team has scored, right? So now I'm going to rely on Mason Crosby and Justin Tucker. Whoever makes a field goal wins the game. And that extra, and that seven minute and 30 second extra time. That is a stipulation that I would add. If we can't, if, if both offenses can't score 
within those 10 minutes, which would make absolutely no sense. But let's just say they didn't. And that seven minutes, okay, then the special teams has to do it. If both kickers miss, the game is over. The game ends in a tie. Now, you could tell this is a more of an analytical an analytical approach. And a, he, a quote, a, this is a formula that he believes that can that should make overtime fair and more exciting and less dependent on the cruel varieties of the coin toss. <laughs> I mean, listen, I, I mean, coin toss is a coin toss. Okay, I, I'll give you an example. We all know that infamous playoff game, the Seahawks versus the Packers. Okay, <laughs> Matt Hasselbeck, the Seahawks with the coin toss, and Matt Hasselbeck, you know, trash talks and said, "Oh, really? And we're going to win." And what does he do? He <laughs> throws a pick to Mike McKenzie, and the game is over. But the biggest thing is, is that it's more to me about strategy. The the coin toss, I don't care. It's more about, to me, with strat back to what that's with strategy. You're relying on these guys. Okay, going to play. We have to play defense. Hey, listen, these are the plays we practice in red zone. You know, you're going to have, you're going to rely on each guy to go. Okay, we can win this game. But the biggest, the biggest question I had, and, and this was really kind of a, um, kind of a disappointment, was the instant replay. We know the referees aren't perfect. We know that they make mistakes. But again, in overtime, can coaches challenge, or is it strictly booth review? Is every questionable catch? call reviewable by the booth or the coaches and again will that sky judge that Baltimore has talked about will that go into effect you know I think it'd be weird you know he does say in the proposal there'd be no kickoff and again he's talked about this is going back to 2012 I think this is great. I think this is a great idea. Even though it's, again, it's, to me, it's very analytical. I'm excited for it. And I'm really hoping to see what they do on the 30th or 31st. Because again, it needs 23 votes. And you already got arguably one of the best coaches of this modern day game of football, Bill Belichick, agreeing with it. But I'd like to see what the other coaches think. And I'd like to know what you guys think. So with that being said, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And again, let me know y'all thoughts. What do you think about this proposal? And is there anything that you would add to the proposal? With that being said, I'm out. I will also leave the links in the description. I will leave the John Harbaugh video clip. Well, it will already be in the article, but I'll leave. It'll be in the article that I'm using in the description below. I'm out. Peace. Yeah.